Hello there. How's it going with the old guitar playing then? You getting along all right? If you've got any questions, just pop them in the comments below and I'll see if I can answer them for you. Anyway, this time we're going to give you another chord as usual. And it's a little bit like the A minor chord that we had last time. Um, if I, it looks very similar, it's just on the next set of strings, like that. And the song uses those two chords. It's quite nice because the shape here, they're the same shape, you're just changing strings. So, what I want to talk about is a little bit about major and minor, because we've done E minor, and now we're doing E major, we're just adding one finger to the chord, which is raising the pitch of one of the notes. That's the major, E major, and this is E minor. It's just slightly more wistful, isn't it? Slightly sadder. And that. That's just sort of bold and plain and nice. And then that's sadder. What's the difference between E major and E minor? Well, there's one finger in it. Um, yeah, one finger there, you know, so that's E minor. And then E major. So, yeah, there's one finger in it. The note goes slightly higher for the, the major, or you could think of it the other way around as it's going slightly lower for the minor. I mean, Technically, it's called a semitone, but we don't worry about that. But the, one of the important differences for our purposes is when you're trying to find a substitute chord. Because mm, last time we had a substitute chord of D2 when really the chord was D major. Say you've been asked for, oh, you've got to play E seventh, and you, you you don't know what a seventh chord is. Never mind how to play it. Well, you could just try the E major, and most of the time it's going to be the major chord that will best fit. So on to strumming. Now I'm not going to say very much about this because I've already done a video about this a few years ago, and I'll link to it there and obviously in the description and you can check that out. The other place you can check it out is in the playlist. So I do recommend that you go to the playlist of uh, this guitar school because it's got all the things uh, in order, but it's also got one, two little extras, you know, like that, that's not really strictly part of the guitar school. What I would say about strumming is simply this. You can use a pick, but don't feel you have to. This is a pick or a plectrum, and they come in various shapes and sizes. Try different ones or don't try any at all whatever you feel like it's cool with me as the main thing i want you to do is to sort of feel comfortable and as far as possible because it can be quite play, painful can't it you know with those uh, chords when you get started you might you know get calluses on the tips of your fingers and things like that but uh, yeah use a pick or don't whatever you feel like but the trick is that bounce and you can check that out in that other video so onto the song which uses E major and A minor. And it's by Talking Heads. And you know, you know me, I'm gonna have to look it up. What's it called? What's it called? Life during wartime. Uh, as usual, I've got the chords for you and I've got the original video. It literally is a chord per passage. I'm not sure which is the verse and which is the chorus, if you can even label them quite like that. But yeah, so A minor. Heard of a van that is loaded with weapons, packed up and ready to go. Heard of some grey sights up by the highway, a place where nobody knows. The sound of gunfire off in the distance, I'm used to it now. Lived in a brownstone, I lived in the ghetto, I've lived all over this town. They 
This ain't no party, this ain't no disco, this ain't no fooling around. No time for dancing, oh lovey dovey, I ain't got time for that now. And it goes on like that, all the way through the song. And I'm not going to say what I'm going to do next time because I didn't stick to it this time, did I? But there's good reasons for that. Every time I just try and make it better. You know, I've got a plan. I've got a plan of at least a dozen lessons. I may not do them all because, I, you know, the idea is this is to springboard you. And if you want me to do something different or cover something you haven't understood, just pop something in the comments below and I'll get back to you. See you next time.